Hi, George. Hi, buddy. Excited, huh? Hear that a Jane drumming. Uh -oh. Now these guys have not been in the pasture. <laughs> oh, they're gonna leave them alone. Kind of surprised. <laughs> Woo! So we hard boiled this emu egg yesterday for about two hours. See if we can get a hard boiled giant egg. So we're gonna attempt to crack it open. I'm not even sure. Oh, but it did crack. I'll be darned. I hope this doesn't waste the egg because this is only our third one. Oh man. Their shells are super tough. It does look like it's... It looks like it's cooked, so that's good. It's actually coming off easier than chicken eggs sometimes. Oh my gosh, look at... Oh yeah. This is so cool. This is way cool. So it's got an uh, inside membrane, brain, blah, blah, membrane, just like a chicken. Gosh, it looks great. So I'm just putting the shells in a bowl. It's actually peeling a lot easier than I thought it would. Look at that, guys. Wow. I'd like to get some of these bigger pieces because I'm kind of thinking I want to do enclose some in some of my fused glass. I don't know what that would do, but might be something fun to try. Anyway, peeling a emu egg for the very first time and there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to shut you off for just a second. I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, here we are back. If you hear a noise in the background, that's Sally, my automatic floor cleaner. I'm going to attempt to make a giant deviled egg. However, I'm not sure. Let's try to cut this bad boy open. Well, it's pretty, it's pretty hard. I mean, I don't know if hard is the right word. It's, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so perfect. I am so excited. All right, I'll be back when I whip some hard boiled eggs up with some homemade mayo out of emu egg as well. Hang on. Okay. It's really, um, that's trooper in the background. It's very, it's more dense, I guess is the word I'm looking for than a chicken egg. And I may have overboiled it. It looks like it might be a little overdone, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't underdone. So I did it for two hours. So I'm just gonna take this out. Let's see, it's pretty crumbly. Wow, so cool. Yeah. You guys probably don't want to watch this the whole thing so I'm just gonna shut you off and then when I get to the next step I'll turn you back on okay I thought this was kind of cool as I was digging them out um, it's got like this and chicken eggs do too have this inside membrane as well as the outside membrane but this one's pretty darn thick so I think I think you probably want to yeah, look at that. That's crazy. It's like saran wrap or something. It's 
very crumbly, but like I said, I'm pretty sure I overcooked it a little bit. But I think it's still gonna be pretty darn good. This is the mayonnaise I made yesterday with another egg. Um, another eating egg. So we can add that in there. And then I've got turmeric, garlic, salt, pepper, um, some zatarain seasoning, paprika, smoky paprika. Actually, I don't think I put that in there. Let me find out. Pour it in. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, it's in there. I'm going to mix that up, and then I might add, I really like this seasoning. I'm going to probably add some of that in there. Looks like it needs a little more mayo. Definitely more mayo. I think I will add a little bit of, I'm gonna add some pickles and onions. We have these pickles that we're gonna add. These are really good. We're gonna add a little bit of the juice too. And I'll catch you back in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. It's hard to judge how much because it's such a big egg. <laughs> okay, I've got the pickles and the onions all chopped up, so we're gonna add those. Let's start with that and see. This is so fun. <laughs> I love experimenting with new foodie things. You might as well add the rest of that. I think it'll be fine. And I didn't whip this so it's ultra smooth. We kind of like ours a little bit chunky, but if you like yours smoother, you want to whip it a little bit more. That's, that's kind of what it looks like. Let's fill these bad boys up. We're going to have some left over for some sandwiches, probably. Biggest deviled eggs I've ever made. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think, gosh, we got a lot left in there. So, hmm. But those are probably filled up as heavy as I can get. Put a little pepper on there. I don't think I want any more paprika. It's pretty smoky already. I think I'm gonna take a little sprig of dill. Dilly. Maybe a little sprig of dill. And there, whoa, slow down. There is a giant deviled egg. 